Hey guys, it's Katie. One, two, three, four. And today I'm going to be doing a full face using new makeup. Currently watching Tana Mojo, but I decided I'm gonna be doing a full face of first impressions, full face of trying out new makeup. You guys requested this video so, so much on my makeup collection video, so today that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna go sit at my beauty vanity over there, but I just didn't wanna film my intro there because I wanted to be different. I wanted some normal people lighting before I set up my beauty guru lights. So with all that being said, if you're new here, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat, and follow me on Twitter. All of my social media is always down below to keep up with me when I'm not posting videos. Also, don't forget to turn on your hashtag post notifications to get notified every time I post a video. If you do this, you have a chance to win a shout out in my next video, so the shout out goes right here. With all that being said, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna try out some new makeup and we're gonna have a lot of fun. We are back and in business. So we have the beauty lights set up now um, and now we're going to put some makeup on my face. Kinda hashtag don't wanna wear makeup right now, but it's okay. So if you did not watch my makeup collection video, you're missing out, but if you did, you know that there's an entire drawer in my makeup collection dedicated to makeup I have not tried out yet. So with all that being said, I'm gonna dig through this drawer and find a bunch of makeup that I've not used yet to select, pick some items, and we're going to get started. So I just dug through my drawer and found five products that I'm gonna be using right off the bat. I might find other things by digging through the drawer too, but these are just the first things that like caught my eye that I've had in this drawer that I've been meaning to test out. So first we're gonna start with concealer, but I'm gonna take my makeup off. All I'm wearing is eyebrows and mascara. So all I'm gonna take off is my mascara. So now my face is puffy and red and I look like a dead mole rat. We're going to put some concealer on. So the concealer I'm gonna be trying is the Focalore Liquid Concealer. They sent this to me a little while back. They sent me a ton of makeup and it's not like a big brand or anything, but they did send me this and I wanna try it. So this is the Focalore Big Cover Natural Concealer. Mine's in the shade 02 and we're going to apply her. This isn't really like a big named company or anything. Um, it doesn't say anything that special, but it says this is a full coverage waterproof and long-lasting concealer Effectively covers up discoloration and imperfecting without creasing or caking So we'll see if it does all those claims It is a little squeezy tube and the shade looks a little bit dark and a little bit yellow for me And this is the shade 02. It shouldn't be that like dark if it is 02 So we're gonna see I'm not gonna be putting foundation on so we're gonna kind of use concealer as foundation which a lot of people get mad at me for doing, but that's just typically what I do like on an everyday basis. Like if I want to wear concealer, I use it as foundation because I don't like foundation. And I'm not gonna wet my beauty blender either because I don't wanna go get it wet because I need to have to get up out of my chair. We're gonna blend her out. Honestly, like dry beauty blenders are not even that bad. Like people over like hype a wet beauty blender. Okay, so she's blending out very nice. Um, This is definitely like a medium to full coverage. This shade actually matches my skin very nice as well. It is a little bit yellowy, but once it like is all blended in, it matches nice. It's definitely a medium to full coverage concealer, but I would definitely have to go with the shade one because this is two. This one's dark on me, like orange. It blended super nice and gave me good coverage and I did use it as a foundation, so don't at me, but I like the coverage. The color looks eh, but it's working so well. But now I'm going to set my face with powder do some bronzer and then get back to you guys because I have a blush to try out. So I set my face and I did bronze up a little bit using the Hoola bronzer and I set my face with the Laura Mercier powder. I didn't do that much bronzer. I literally just took it on this big old fluffy brush and just like put it just like that, the tiniest bit because I really wanna do a lot of blush. So the palette I'm gonna be using for blush is the Morphe 8C Cool Pro palette. They sent this to me through Octoly a little while back and I have not used it. We have a bunch of like peachy corally shades and then we have a bunch of like dark, or like really vampy pink colors. I think I'm gonna start with this shade right here, which is called Sexy. A little bit of an intimidating name. We're just gonna put her on my cheek. I've never used Morphe blushes and I typically don't apply them with this big of a brush, but we're being extra today. I felt being bougie. Funny story, so my um, my science teacher yelled at me the other day because I called her bougie and she thought bougie was a bad thing. I was like, no, I'm far. like bougie is a good thing. Like you're bougie, you look good. She was like, are you calling me bougie? Like, I'm calling you bougie, it's a good thing. Kind of look like an Oompa Loompa and a tomato had a baby, but um, we're blushed. 
I love blush. It's like so good. It makes your skin look so nice and so natural and so like blushing little queen. Now it's time for highlighter. So this is another Focalore product and this is their Color Mix Multi Refill Pan Highlight. So this is supposed to be put in like a Z palette, but I don't got one of those. So this is what she looks like. It's called Soul to Show. And we're gonna spray some setting spray on our face and then apply this. I'm gonna be using this Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer Water. I think that's what it's called. So we're gonna take a tiny little brush and put this highlight on. Oh, yep, she's pretty golden. So as you can see, this is like a golden color, but I was expecting it to be a little bit more champagne and this is very gold. It is a really pretty shade, but it definitely does not work for my skin color. I would probably use this as an eyeshadow because it's too dark for me but the highlight is really pretty so this is a flop for me definitely gonna be using it as an eyeshadow though but um it will work for people with darker skin tones so now we're gonna do a look kind of want to do some pink eyes i don't know why valentine's day is coming up i have not used my anastasia modern renaissance palette in literally ages so we're gonna use her hopefully i still know how to do eyeshadow because um kind of a little bit rusty so first we're gonna take the shade Love Letter, which is right here, the really dark, like a pinky, rosy color, and put this in our lid. Don't expect this eye look to be good. Like I'm not that talented, so don't come at me. Um, if you wanna see like creative eye looks that I do, follow my makeup Instagram, it's at Makeup by Katie. I do like actually good eyeshadow on there. People always get mad at me because they're like, you do such good eyeshadow on your makeup Instagram, but you never do it on your YouTube. Yeah, I know. Eyeshadow like that takes me like a long time and I only ever do one eye when I do makeup by Katie eyeshadow looks. So um, it takes me like 30 to 45 minutes to do like one eye and I don't have that time when I film videos. Like when I film videos, normally my entire video is like 30 or 45 minutes and I just don't have time to be sitting that long on one eye, you know? I know we look insane, like I look crazy, but just trust me, we're gonna blend it out. Getting this semi-clean brush, we're gonna blend out the edges, smoke them out a little bit. Um, Those are not even at all, so uh, pray for me. Why does that shade and that shade look, look identical? We're gonna take the shade Vinitin. I don't know how to say that, Vinitin Red. And I'm gonna take the same brush and just kind of smoke those out. That's what that bottom lash line it looks like. I'm gonna take that same color and put that in the outer V of my eyelid. Okay, so I think that is the look like kind of done. Now we're gonna cut the crease and put a shimmer on. So I'm gonna cut the crease with our big cover concealer and then I'll get back to you guys when I put some shimmer on our eyelids. I don't know how these professional beauty gurus make their cut creases so even, but I really did try. Say hi to Chase, that's my brother. So I'm taking Primavera, this like golden shade and putting that on the concealer that we just cut our eyelid with. I'm gonna focus this on the outer half of the cut crease. So we added the little gold to the outside of the cut crease and now I'm gonna take the shade Vermeer which is right here, the like champagne-y one, and add that to the inner corner. Okay, so we're done with that, and like I said, we're just gonna take some more of that red shade and put it on the outer V to blend the cut creases together. So now I'm gonna be taking the light pink in the James Charles palette, Pinkity Drinkity, and taking it on that same fluffy brush and blending out the tops of my shadow. And I'm gonna take the same pink and put that on the bottom lash line as well. So that's what the final eyeshadow looks like, I think. Um, we are done with like all the smoking and blending. Now it's time for mascara. So I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and then I'm gonna apply the X Lash Mascara. X Lash makes like growthening serums for your lashes and like plumping stuff from your lips. So I'm gonna be using this. So that's what the wand looks like. Um, it's just kind of curved, but first we're gonna curl our lashes. As we can see, this is just cutting my lashes really evenly making it look like an even layer of mascara. I don't think I'm gonna be putting on lashes just because I'm gonna be taking this makeup a hashtag right off when I'm done with it. Also, if I get mascara on my eyelids, whatever, it's not a big deal. So that's what the mascara looks like right now. I realize that I do have it on my lids and I'm going to clean that up later. But for right now, we're going to finish up the eyeshadow. To do this, I'm gonna be taking this Focalore palette that they also sent me. I have used this multiple times before and I really do like it, but I'm gonna be taking this really pretty shimmery pink shade. I'm gonna use this as the highlight in my inner corner and on my brow bone. So last Lastly, we're gonna do lippity dippities. So I'm gonna try and use this shade. This is the Essence Lip Liner in the shade 15 Honey Berry. Lord knows I was not blessed with big lips, but we're gonna try and make this work. So I'm just gonna fill in my lips now with this color and we're gonna apply a gloss on top of it. So I'm gonna be using this Tarte Shimmering Lip Paint Lip Gloss. I got this in my BoxyCharm a few months ago. This is the Tarte Shimmering Lip Paint in the shade Insta Famous. Wish I could say that was me. It's basically just like a pretty shimmery golden champagne lip gloss and I think it will look really pretty with our Luke. 
I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but this is like really glittery and very shiny and I love it. And I feel like since that highlight didn't work out for us, we need more. Like it's not doing it for me. I'm gonna be taking my Anastasia Glow Kit and I know this isn't a first impressions, but I'm gonna be taking the shade Starburst right here, which is this pink highlight. It has like a pinky undertone and I'm just gonna apply that over top of that gold one. So I know my makeup might look a little bit janky because we kind of just wung it, but I like the way it turned out. This is a full face of first impressions and it kind of turned out as like a Valentine's -y day look which I like a lot. Overall, I like everything that I tried out. I know I didn't try out too, too many new products. These are just like the ones I grabbed immediately off the top. Uh, the eye look turned out really pretty. I know there's still mascara in my eyes, but that's okay. I also really like the lip combination. That lip liner is super pretty. It's so bright and I love it a lot. So that is the end of this full face of first impressions slash Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. I know I've been getting both of those comments on my videos recently a lot. So we got a two in one. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to follow all my social medias. They're always down below. Below. And don't forget to click that big red subscribe button to become a Katester. Thank you for letting me do what I love each and every day. The vacuum just turned on! Well, I love you guys so, so much and thank you for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys!